So I recently called for a million robot march and I had an asterisk by the million in the title uh, stating that robots may vary from one to one million. Why did I call for a million robot march? Well, I wanted to bring attention to a particular issue that's brewing on campus, which has to do with the color of the visiting football team's locker room. So in the late 70s, former legendary uh, Coach Fry uh, painted the opposing football team's locker room pink to, well, we all know, it. you stick football players in a pink locker room and it's meant to, you know, rattle them, annoy them, and obviously it has to do with gender, but the university officially claims that it has absolutely nothing to do with gender and that it's just purely color psychology because pink is supposedly a, a calming color. The reason why I called for this Million Robot March was because I wanted to bring attention to an issue that the university has regularly ignored. Um, it's publicly ignored the many times that it's uh, the issue has flared up in the past and it worked. So basically by putting on a robot costume, calling for a million robot march to, de to delete the pink locker rooms, I knew that it would force the university to publicly respond to an issue that it's been able to ignore. Um, and yes, I was perfectly willing to look like a complete jackass in doing so. I, that was the bullet I was willing to take. Um, and it worked. Uh, it finally got Sally Mason to respond in a press conference saying, you know, basically she said, pink isn't, like pink predated me. Uh, is this a color that I would have picked? No, so implicitly stating that she thinks it's a moronic practice. But she s went on to say, you know, it would cost too much to replace the locker room and and so on. So in other words, you know, pink predates me, uh, this form of institutionalized like sexism, possibly homophobia predates me, it'd be too expensive to deal with, so whatever, you know, uh, go Hawks. Um, so the march failed in changing the color of the locker room, and I knew it would, but it succeeded in starting a public conversation about this issue. And furthermore, it succeeded in showing that yes, the reason why so many fans support and love the pink locker room uh, has to do with gender because when I started getting responses from people, one typical response was, well, one quote, uh, one exact quote was, shut up faggots, keep the pink locker room. Another trend was uh, more than one person said that I must have been breastfed till I was 16 or something like that. Uh, and on and on and on. So the way that the responses and the defenses of the pink locker room was framed made it clear that a lot of people, you know, uh, liked it because, yeah, essentially you're calling the opposing football team a bunch of homos, but it's lighthearted, you know, it's, it's just a goof and no big deal. Or, but anyway, uh, Yes, the march failed in changing the color of the locker room, but it did succeed in stirring up a pu public conversation and shining on a light on, you know, the reason why most, or at least a lot of Hawkeye fans like the pink locker room. Shut up, fag. Keep the pink locker room.